This is our 67 GTO we're working on. You can almost see it in the light there. We had all the body lines lined up beautiful. We're sitting here having a, a beer. And right here, there's just a big dent. Even though my, my door lines uh, match up pretty good, um, the hood lined up really nice. Um, when I, to make those line up, it actually pulled this fender in. So we, we tracked down the previous owner and he gave us the original fenders and they're not in bad shape. I think the only uh, um, Bondo that was in there was a dent almost in the same spot. Um, and we can see a drill hole there. So um, what we're gonna do is take the original fenders and put them in the molasses tank. So this is kind of a before of the fender here. This is the original fender which fit really nice. These body lines fit much nicer. Um, the gap all the way along is pretty sweet. So it's, uh, I don't know what uh, what's, what's behind here, but we'll find out uh, soon enough. This is just rubbing from where that chrome strip sits. Um, so we'll see, there's no, there's no Bondo. That's paint and there's no, there's no Bondo in here. That's steel there. So we're gonna put the fender and the door in the molasses and that uh, I've had good luck with stripping the paint so we'll leave it in there for three weeks. Got a lot of work to do in those three weeks so hopefully I have some time after that and we can get going on this before summer's over. Um, it's only April and there's still, last of the snow was still disappearing but uh, at least I can work with the doors open again. So yeah, I'll show you guys what the molasses does. It's just a one to 10 mix of water and molasses and it takes the rust and uh, strips the paint right off. We, we did the frame already. You can see the frames nice and shiny. Um, starting to get a little bit of flash rust because it was about a couple months ago already. So um, I kind of want to get some primer on that. We got weld the floors and everything in. So yeah, here we go. time to do a little bit of work on our GTO. Now this fender's been in my molasses mix for about uh, three, four weeks while I was working on other stuff. And I'll show you guys stripping the paint. Um, can't sandblast panels like this because you'll dent them. So you don't even need to wear a mask when you're taking this stuff off because it just kind of falls on the floor. The door I pulled out of the molasses tank uh, a few uh, weeks ago already. But as you can see, the paint is still very uh, brittle. And all it takes to sand is just taking a razor blade. I can't seem to find my razor scraper. No dust, no mess. The pressure washer took all this off. And then you just take the razor and just scrape the stuff off that was loose. In about a half hour of this, I can have the entire door stripped. They're actually in really good shape, other than uh, the very back. There's a couple spots right here, and a little bit on the front on the inside of one. So we talked to the body shop, and uh, we're gonna assemble the front fenders back on the GTO, get our gaps right before we cut the floor out, put the hood back on again, make sure everything lines up nice. We're gonna bring him the car. Um, I can cut the floor, put the floor in, with the uh, uh, fenders and hood and everything attached, so I know the lines are good. Put the rockers on, put the uh, floor in the trunk and in the uh, front here. And then we're leaving the windows in while we do that because it helps stiffen the body so it doesn't twist. I don't need to brace it for the front floor patch, but I am gonna brace it for the trunk. Then uh, we are going to send it to the body shop who's gonna weld in new quarters on both sides and repair the fenders front and uh, back and cutting the pieces off of our aftermarket ones. 
and he's going to blend those in, make them look good. Then he's going to give us the car back again and take the back, take all the pieces off. Uh, we're going to take the back half and put it on the old twisted frame and put it on the rotisserie and then send it back to him and he's going to paint everything for us. Then we're going to take it home and uh, reassemble it again. So once the fenders are on we'll see how it looks uh, gap wise and then we'll start cutting the floors out and uh, the previous owner started cutting the quarter out already. Quarters were actually really cheap 300 bucks um, for a full quarter that goes up to the seam here. So it's not worth messing around with, at least we don't have to strip that paint. And then uh, we'll see what happens then. All right, here we go. So follow a variety of projects that include conversions and repairs to anything from Ferraris to chainsaws. And check out the Tape Boss, my newest invention that's coming to market. And remember, if you're not filthy, you're not rich.